I'm fine. It's nothing. I know you can't talk about it, so... I can't talk about you. Yes, but it's the fire that's the problem. Come here. I won't tell if you don't. Oh, I smear it all over the place. Because like me and Chaz are competing for who's got the most psychotic ex. For what it's worth, fires are normally started by people who've done it before. Yeah. Andy. Look, I gotta go. I mean, Laura, the pup. Dave's thing. Yeah. What about we get out of here? When it's finished. I think we both deserve to get away from it. Yeah. Sounds good to me. I'll see you later. Hey. Yeah. I'll get you pint. Where's my drink? Oh, I, uh... I hate these things. I don't know. It'll be interesting. These iron grill things. I, I keep telling her they'll only get in the way when she's twitching the curtain. Well, any more locks in this place, you'd be putting yourself in danger. You'd never get out in an emergency. Well, did you want to tell her? Because she won't take it from me. She, she wants to turn the place into Fort Knox. <laughs> well, I do understand. We were all knocked for six that night. I wish I could do more. Thought you'd be a bit more blase, considering the things you've seen. No. That would involve someone you care about. Hello, Chad. Oh, she's already left. Oh, probably catch her up, though. Hi. Hi. Um, and Nick stayed over last night. Yes. Right. I suppose that makes sense. And you'll be here in the morning. Sorry. To carry on with the investigation. Uh, it's not my investigation anymore. What? No. Uh, I'm off the case. As of yesterday. What? No, no you, you can't. What does that mean? I, I Jenny, um, weren't you looking for Chaz? Yeah, um, yeah. Okay, thanks. Um, bye. Bye, Jenny. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. It's all right. Can you keep it a secret? Yeah, I know, but I still feel really bad, though. Don't. It's not your fault. It means I get to spend more time with you. Yes, but you're going to work, aren't you? No, I reckon they owe me a morning off. Oh, Nick. <laughs> BLT. Easy on the L. Extra mile, right? Call a paramedic. Think I'm going into shock. Never even seen you by around. Professional courtesy. No hard feelings. You know you are working for her. What's she got you doing? Hugging the knives while she throws them in people's backs? Look, I don't take bribes. I can't talk about it. What about the phone that was used to ring Katie? Look, don't put me on the spot. It's confidential. Don't be like that. That's not going to compromise you. It's exactly what it'd do. If you had a grasp of these things, you might still be on the case. I just want to make sure she's not in danger. Does that make me wrong? All right, listen. I suppose I can tell you this much. There's nothing to know. Happy? Fine. Stonewall me, then. I'm not. You wipe the CCTV at the phone shop, so there you go. Well, that's typical. Now you know what I was up against. There's dead leads everywhere. Well, no. The council got a camera that gets the front door of the shop, so, with any luck, we'll pick him up on that. Good luck with that. Waste of time. She's got us going through every frame of that footage. You ever did it, she's determined to nail him. Enjoy. <laughs> I bet there's a million women out there that swap places with you. What? To go out with you, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> No, I meant the whole My Little Pony thing. You all right? Is he giving you any more grief? Andy, no. I'd like to see him try. He's just stuck up here on your own. I haven't seen a soul since the main gate. Enough about him. I'm here to make amends. What for? Well, yesterday was an unmitigated disaster. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd better give it another go. All right, OK, but listen, don't go overboard, OK? I mean, diamonds are fine, or pearls, if you strapped. <laughs> I was thinking more along the lines of whisking you away. What do you think? Me and you, pack a bag, hit the road. What, now? Well, I can't. I'd have to cancel a load of lessons. So do it. You need a break. You can leave it all behind. The work. Gossip, Andy. You let me out of business, you will. 
So that's a yes? Um. Yeah. Go on then. <clears throat> you don't really think he would have bothered me up here, do you? Well, I've seen dozens of blokes like him. When they lose their temper, that's when you go watch yourself. Hmm. But he'd have to get past me first. Right. Passing my diary. There. I don't know how Doug coped.